Hello, Taurus. Taurus, welcome to your reading. You know that we really dive deep into the readings to give you the information that you need to know at this present moment in time. As usual, it's going to be important to allow your intuition to be available as I'm doing your readings because your intuition will elaborate on the messages that are on the cards so that this reading becomes personal and it becomes powerful. But please do remember that these readings are general, so use your own wisdom and your own discernment to grasp the messages that are for you. At the bottom of the deck, what you need to know at this present moment in time, you're receiving the energies of a major arcana card of the world card. So far, you have two major arcana cards. Wow, all of your cards are major arcana cards. Taurus, this means that there are some powerful energies that you are working with. These energies could be life-changing. It's interesting that what you needed to know at this present moment in time, being that it is the energies of the world card, the divine is saying that there is going to be a complete, successful completion to a situation that you have been going through. And this is a complete, this is like this situation, boom, it's done, it's finished once and for all. You are not going to be dealing with it again. The world card being that it's the last major arcana cards in the tarot. This is an indication again that you are going to be dealing with something for the last time. These are doors that are going to be opening. There are portals that you're going to be entering. And there is going to be a victorious, successful completion. So I really like that this card is here. Because I always tell you that when we are working with the energies of major arcana cards, they can be a bit challenging because these are heavier energies. These are energies that are more impactful. So the divine is saying that whatever you're currently going through at this moment in time, understand that you are going to be vindicated. Understand that you are going to be victorious. Understand that you are going to have reasons to celebrate. So I really like this card for you. But there is going to be a progression, a journey that you're going to have to go through before we get here. So we're going to be diving deeper into the cards that are here to really reveal what the divine wants you to be aware of. But before that, let's get our oracle cards to elaborate on the messages that are here. As we get our oracle cards, I always take this opportunity to remind you of the services that I offer. I offer cord cutting ceremonies. I offer banishing ceremonies, return to, cer to sender. So if you feel that you've got bad luck, hexes, juju, whatever it is, I can deal with these energies and assist you with that. I want to say to you that it is important for you to go on my website and have a look around at all the services that are there. Because once you do that, you'll be able to see what it is that you need and what I can do for you and how we can work together okay so let's have a look to see what is here and one more card before we get started i'm gonna get another card that is here as well so yes my website is linked in the description box below and there is many many services that i offer including i always forget to tell you that i do honey jars this is a 28 day prayer ceremony that I do and the honey jars are connected to calling in your prosperity so these are really good things to to do as well we have our cards on the table okay and I told you that we have a successful completion that is here however let's deal with these two energies that are on the table because again we have that energy being repeated of victory of success with the emperor. But before we can get to be the emperor, there is some things that the divine is saying to you that you need to be aware of. The first thing that the divine wants to talk to you about is the major arcana card of the judgment card and intertwined with the major arcana card of the hanged man. The divine is saying that it is important for you to stop. Okay. It is important for you to analyze before you make a decision. Whatever decisions that you have to make, big, small, and in between, the divine is saying, stop. Look at this situation from different angles. Look at this situation and really understand why you are currently experiencing this. The divine is saying that when you step into the energies of the judgment card, 
This is you releasing blockages, obstacles, what doesn't serve you. This is you releasing what could be standing in the way because the judgment card is saying to you, stop, analyze, delete, reassess, reevaluate before you move forward. And it's interesting that the hangman brings a similar type of energy to the table. The hanged man, as you can see, it is that energy of waiting. So first of all, you take a judgment of what you need to leave behind, what is not working. You understand the blockages and what you need to do. And then next, the divine is saying, before you make a decision, before you rush and take action, stop and deploy the energies of the hanged man. Wait for divine information because the divine information is going to be coming in and is going to be guiding you. It's going to be coming in and guiding you based on the judgment, on the decisions that you've made. So it is important for you to understand how these two energies are working together. You first of all need to step forward, silence your monkey mind, okay? Really look at situations for what they are. And understanding that as you're going into the future, you might have to leave things behind. And then once you are satisfied, it is time for you to start getting ready to go forward and to take action. But now before you do that, the divine is saying, wait, pray, communicate with your guides, communicate with your ancestors before you take action. Because in doing so, they are going to be giving you powerful information because the hanged man is all about receiving powerful information. So the divine is saying to you, once you've received that powerful information, it is now time to take action. And the action that you're going to take, if you really play your cards right, judging, releasing, letting go, waiting for divine information, the divine is saying, get comfortable being in limbo for a moment. You've got Sleeping Beauty that is here. Sleeping Beauty had to wait for Prince Charming to come in. So the divine is saying, there's divine information that is going to be coming in, that is going to be helping you, releasing you from limbo, from being at a crossroad. There's really a powerful indication that is here about being at a crossroad, being in limbo but waiting for divine information to take inspired action. Just as you can see our card here, it is King Arthur who had to pull the, the sword, but he had to use divine wisdom to be able to maneuver and pull out that sword successfully. The energies of the emperor is indicating victory again. But understand that the victory that the emperor has is indicating that he had to go through challenges he had to go to war. You can see that he is wearing armor. So he had to go and fight for something that was important to him, that he was passionate about. And he had to deploy that energy of Capricorn, understanding that the good things in life take time. And this is why the divine is saying, this is why these three cards are speaking of the same energy, are collaborating on the same story. Look at what you need to leave behind. Don't rush. Once you've made a decision, wait for divine information. Divine information is going to be coming in and then you are going to know exactly what action you're going to need to take. And this action is going to be leading to this victory that we spoke about. So having the energies of the emperor and having the energies of the world card being here, you've got double victory that is on the cards. So I really love the energy that is here. So in the comment section, comment, I am the emperor because the divine is showing that you are going to be using wisdom, logic, that divine masculine energy of knowing what you need to do, being disciplined in the action that you need to take and then taking that action and everything just seems to bang, work out right as if by magic leading to this victory that is here. Okay, so I hope that you're truly understanding the message that the divine is wanting to give you because it is indeed a powerful message that is here. So the first thing that the divine wants to talk to you in our oracle cards, the divine is saying it is important to understand that you have to be someone who makes you happy. 
Because the divine is saying that for some of you, you have been prescribing your happiness to maybe circumstances, to other people. When this happens, then I'll be happy. When this person says they love me, then I'll be happy. When fill in the blanks, then I'll be happy. No, the divine is saying, get happy now. Because if you're not able to be happy with where you are now, when you get to this energy of victory, success, still there'll be reasons for you not to really embrace that energy of blissfulness, that energy of joy, that energy of gratitude. You could be looking back at the war that you've been through, at the fight that you've been through, and you're not able to enjoy the victory that is here. The divine is saying to you, it is important for you to understand that once you've received divine information, take a chance, okay? Take a chance on you and you could be winning big time, okay? There could be an ending of scarcity, that scarcity experience that you've experienced because remember I told you the world card is about victory. For some of you, inspired action could be you going and playing the lottery and winning, for some of you, inspired action is going to be you starting that business. For some of you, inspired action is going to be you taking a chance on life and going on a journey. Maybe you decide to go on a journey around the world and it really changes your life and you find your soulmate, your twin flame, or to every word that you prescribe to that perfect person, to that perfect relationship. So the divine is saying everyone's situation is different, but it is linked to understanding how to work with inspired action and everything just falls into place as if it was always meant to be like that okay so i want you to truly understand the message that is here because you've got beautiful energies that are here but you have to activate these beautiful energies with being able to receive this information that is in this reading so that you know exactly what you need to do to activate the victory that is here. We already spoke about leaving things behind that no longer serve you. So the energies of the judgment card is saying to you, leave behind whatever it is that is standing in the way. Whether it is self-sabotaging behaviors, okay? Whether it is relationships, people, situations, leave everything behind because you're going to be entering a new beginning that is here. So why do you want to carry this heavy load with you in to the new beginning that is on the cards for you? So what I'm hearing right now is travel light. You are going to be going on a journey. You don't need to be carrying so much travel light into this chapter that is here. The divine is saying to you, it is important for you to understand that you have been neglecting yourself. Why do I have the energies of the emperor here? Well, I want you to take note of the emperor. Even though the emperor is now an emperor, he is wealthy, he's victorious, he's successful, he's full of wisdom. The kings and the queens come to the emperor for information, for wisdom, for strategy. But still, the emperor is wearing armor, indicating that even though he's now in a comfortable place, he still is not really that comfortable that he can take the armor off and really relax and enjoy his position that he has earned. So equally the same, the divine is saying that you've been neglecting yourself. Take your armor off. Do some time where you love yourself where you're gentle with yourself go and do the things that you love especially once you've got to this energy that is of the world card when you have reasons to celebrate because maybe now you have won the lottery and life is good life is going in a new direction maybe that business that you started is going really well but there could still be that scarcity mindset this is the energies of the emperor at its lowest polarity so the divine is saying, deploy the energies of the emperor at its highest polarity. Take the armor off. The war is over because you have the world card. There are new beginnings. This is the last major arcana card. So there are now new beginnings that require a different type of mindset. So it is important for you to always be looking at how you neglect yourself, get 
in your own way, connected to what's happened to you in the past. Sometimes you build those walls of protection around you, but there's no need for that. So take down those walls because now you're entering a new chapter, a new journey where the rules are different, where you are on the top. You're at the top of your game. You're on top of the world. So the divine is saying to you, with our last oracle card that is here, it could be important for you to maybe get some spiritual mentors, some teachers even, who can assist you, who can help you, who can help you retune, refine your mindset once you've got to this energy that is here. So it is important for you to also understand that you have talents, okay? Step into your talents, share your talents with other people. Go and guide, get a teacher to teach you how to paint maybe, how to play music, how to be a writer, how to do whatever it is that is your birthright, to express and to bring joy into your life. So spiritual mentors, teachers, guides are going to be important. So this is the message that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And like I said, I do honey jars that call in your prosperity. It's a whole 28 day ceremony. So it is like a powerful prayer. On that note, Taurus, I'm going to see you in my next reading. And it is a goodbye from me.